if I find out that I could have bolted anti-gravity technology to this thing 30 years ago, I'm going to be pissed. But I have a feeling that what's on the verge of coming out, the fact that anti-gravity technology was available 30 years ago, it's probably going to end up being small potatoes. What amazes me is after all this time and all the things that have been hinted at and exposed in the past few years, at how few people still don't understand how disclosure actually works. <laughs> a milestone today and a lot of people who are supposedly up on this shit and credible influencers and all that are missing it completely hidden technology and what are called technical advancements are the deep state's trump cards and they only play them when they think it's warranted that they should be played on days like when it's possible that more is on the verge of coming out than, than they realize or hope for so they have, allow a hearing to be held on extraterrestrial vehicles and how the fact that the government has been involved in researching stuff like that and developing the technology on our dime, meaning the taxpayers, for longer than most of us have been alive. Longer than I've been alive and I've been here for a while. This goes beyond that, but for our purposes, back to Nikola Tesla and his experiments and his ideas and inventions. And from there you go to Roswell, where technology was discovered that, lo and behold, operated on some of Tesla's theories and principles. So, as unbelievable as it might seem or sound or what have you, we get the low-tech shit. It's always been that way. That's why they were buying up 50 mile an hour, 50 mile per gallon carburetors and shelving injection systems in the late 40s and early 50s. That's why the guy who uh, invented the first car that ran on hydrogen efficiently and effectively he ain't around anymore. And there's a million examples like that. And in order for disclosure to work right, if you're going for what I'm hoping is full disclosure, where we, we get told everything we haven't been told, have to be able to put the, put them in jeopardy. You have to have their system exposed to the world. See, do you see where this is going yet? You have to have your, a basic working of how these people operate. And as their system or corruption is exposed to the public in general, they start throwing out stuff like UFOs. Oh, we got this and we got that. To try to use it as a distraction. Or a, what should be called in this card game, I suppose, a trump card. To keep themselves out of trouble or being discovered. 
That's what we're watching. That's what we have been watching. And the things that have led us to where we are right now were merely a prelude. It's just inconsequential tip of the iceberg stuff. This is when it gets good, and this is when who plays what cards they have and when matters. My suggestion would be this. For anybody who's willing to do so, throw away everything you knew or you thought you knew. Because the majority of it is all bullshit. And the real truth is on the verge of coming out. And if you know what to look at, and what to talk about when when the time comes we just might get it and if not we just might get George Orwell's 1984 instead because we didn't protest we didn't say no we didn't say that's enough of this shit and yeah I understand it's a lot to wrap your head around and some of the concepts of some of the things that are coming out going to be completely foreign to us. Don't worry about that. We've all been lied to before. We know what the process is for finally de determining that, hey, I've been lied to and I need to back up and do things a little bit different. We all know how to do that. And if you're not willing to do that now in this time, in this age, I guess we don't deserve to go to the age beyond the one we're in now.